here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to moving land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 As usual, Moomin Valley presents a picture of absolute peace. A perfect day for a picnic, as Mimble and the inspector have decided, with little Mai agreeing. Hey, Inspector, don't you ever have to arrest any criminals? Huh? What do you mean? Seems to me you spend all your time running around after my sister. On the contrary, yesterday I spent the entire day in the garden tending my favorite roses. That was Monday. You spent three whole days picnicking. Time flies with your sister. Well, I don't think gardening and picnicking is real police work at all. Perhaps you'd care to tell me what you think real police work is. Collecting fingerprints, arresting crooks, and interrogating them, of course. Well, maybe, but we don't have crooks in Moomin uh, Valley. Now you mention it, we haven't any. So who would commit the crimes? Mm, how boring. If you look at it that way, but it explains why I have nothing to do. Picnic? Nothing wrong with picnicking. In fact, I think we should do it again tomorrow. Oh, not another picnic. Wonderful idea. We could explore somewhere new. Exploring? Can I come? Tomorrow we might not feel like inviting you. Mmm. Smells lovely. Fair maiden, allow me to give you this bouquet, a small tribute to your far greater beauty. Such fair speech, my true knight. But what are these rare blooms? White lilies, don't you know anything? You can find them anywhere. Oh, you again. Are you rehearsing for a bad play or something? No, we are not. This is how young lovers are supposed to speak to each other, and it takes lots of practice and concentration. <laughs> Hey, Snufkin, I've got a great idea. Yes? You and I should start dating. What? Oh? I'm going to start dating, you have decided. Ooh. No doubt about it, there must be spring in the air in Moomin Valley. Moomin Valley Station. Oh, Chief Constable. Sorry, I was out on patrol. Uh, no, no, everything's peaceful around here. Yes, I'm happy to report that the district seems free from crime. We never get any trouble in Moomin Valley. Yes, yes. What? B -b -b but this is also very sudden, Inspector. Oh, we must have time. Oh, no. It's already been decided, but then what will become of me? <sighs> Hello, 
Inspector. Beautiful day, isn't it? Hmm? What do you think you're doing, children? Hello, Moom and Mama. Hello, Inspector. Is Moom and Papa home? Yes, but you look glum. Some you crying? No, nothing, unfortunately. Oh. Oh, dear, that's terrible. Yes, I've been flung into deep despair. Moomin Valley just won't be the same without you, Inspector. When are they planning to close the station? Very soon, according to what the Chief Constable said. Surely not, with your good record. Well, that's just the trouble. It's too good. There are no crooks to be found anywhere in Moomin Valley. If it wasn't for that, the station wouldn't have to be closed. Well, there's always Stinky. He's not nearly bad enough. Do you realize how serious this is? They're going to fire me, Moomin Papa. Mm, my goodness gracious. I don't suppose you might have any crime to confess to so that I could arrest you, perhaps? No, I didn't think so. Oh, dear, our poor inspector. We must find a way to help him, Moomin. Yes, I really feel sorry for him. We could all sign a petition in Moomin Valley, only they never seem to work. Especially not if the chief constable has already decided. Well, we don't actually need a police station in Moomin Valley. I suppose he could always try looking around for another job. Well, he could, but I think he likes this one, really. It's little Mai. Huh? I'll get back into my tent. Snufkin! Snufkin, please, you must help my sister. Why? What's happened to her, little Mai? Nothing, but she's hopelessly in love with uniforms, you know, and the inspector might lose his job. Yes, but what would that mean? Well, if he gets fired, one shudders to think what might happen. A terrible fate for both him and my sister. How strange some people are. I'm sure they could be persuaded to let the inspector keep his uniform if somebody explained the situation to them. Yes, but it wouldn't be the same. It'd be like a masquerade or something. I don't know how I could have got such an idiot for a sister, but we must help her. Okay, do you have any good ideas, Snufkin? Well, if we only had more crime here, they wouldn't be able to close down the station. Yes, but there's never any crime in Moomin Valley. Unless we commit some, I guess. What? Let's go and fill Moomin Valley with crime. Come on! This is very strange. Now, where on earth can I have put it? Mama! Mama! Yes, dear? What is it? Have you seen my hat anywhere? Well, I'm sure I remember seeing it on your head yesterday evening. No, today. I, I put it on this morning, as usual. Goodness gracious, well, when did you miss it? Well, it was just now, straight after I woke up from a little snooze. You must have taken it off and put it down somewhere else without thinking. Oh, but I never do that. Uh, I'll look outside. Wait! You wouldn't have seen my handbag, would you? Handbag? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure I saw you carrying it yesterday. But I know I've had it since then. I remember carrying it downstairs with me less than an hour ago. And where do you think you saw it last? In the kitchen, I suppose. Perhaps it was in the dining room. Oh, dear me. Where can it be? Mama! Mama! Yes, dear? Have you seen my knife? No, I haven't. I thought I saw it last on my desk, but I can't find it anywhere now. I don't suppose you've seen my handbag up there, have you, Moomin? So what's up, Moomin, Papa? Mm -hmm. I'm looking for my hat. It must be around here somewhere, Snufkin. Don't tell me your hat's gone missing now as well. Yes, and I'm sure I was wearing it only this morning. That's it. What do you mean, Snufkin? My fishing rod is missing, too. I was using it this morning, and then all of a sudden, it just disappeared. Mm, it's most peculiar. A hat, a handbag. Someone stole them. You think so? There must be a thief on the loose somewhere in Moomin Valley. Did you say you lost more than one thing, Moomin Papa? Mm, yes, we have. <laughs> Mama! Mama! Have you found your handbag? No! And your hat? Nothing. And I can't find my knife anywhere, Papa. Yes, Snufkin is right. There's a thief. Why? What's happened to you, Snufkin? 
My fishing rod's been stolen. But to make off with my tough hat. Yes, and my handbag as well. How fiendish. And my knife too? I'm afraid so, Moomin. Who could have done such a terrible thing? I love my handbag, but it isn't exactly valuable. This is the end! <gasps> What's the matter, Sniff? My real gold coin's been stolen. You as well? What? Someone else had his gold coin stolen, too? Not coins, Sniff, but a hat and a handbag. And my knife and Snufkin's fishing rod. All our treasures have been taken. Who could have done such a wicked thing? We must catch the thief. That's a job for the inspector. It's not for us. Right. Then we must hurry to the police station. Yes. Yes, Chief Constable. Any number of valuables have been stolen. Yes, we will do our utmost to find the perpetrator. I expect a quick arrest. <laughs> you can count on me, Chief Constable. Oh, my goodness, you're not going to believe me, oh, Inspector. Whatever's the matter? What's happened now? It seems our houses have been broken into. That's right. There's no doubt in my mind. We have a full-blown hardened criminal in our very midst. My gold coin's gone. Wait your turn. Uh. What's been stolen? My chocolates have gone missing, and my sister can't find her pearls anywhere. Pearl necklace? But that was a present from me, and a very expensive present at that. They were chocolate eclairs. All right, all right. Let me warn you, though, in cases like this, the chocolate is almost invariably gone before the culprit is caught. How about you? They stole my treasure chest. Not, not with all the contents. Yes, all my best seashells were in it. Hmm, a thief with very strange tastes, but don't you worry. I'll get the crook by hook or by uh, uh, some other way. Are you quite certain? Yes, of course. Give your sister a message. Tell her that I'll be paying a visit later today to lend her my sympathy. And so the inspector started investigating his biggest case ever. Aha, uh -huh. so... You think your handbag was last seen somewhere near this table, Moomin Mama? Yes, Inspector. And are you absolutely certain this is the desk where you kept your knife? Yes. I see, and you have no clue as to the perpetrator of the crime. Er, uh, what do you mean? Well, did you happen to see the thief running away by any chance? Uh... You saw him? No, no. I didn't see anybody, really. So, do you suspect anyone in particular, Snufkin? No one. You could have caught a quick glimpse of him, perhaps. Well, not quite. You saw him? No, no, not really. I couldn't say I did. And this is where you kept your coin? Alas. You didn't see anyone digging here, did you? Nobody. Are you sure you didn't see anybody? Well, they're seeing and seeing. You saw him. No, no, you couldn't really say that. Out with it. It's my job to establish whether you saw the thief or you didn't see him. Well, to be quite honest, Inspector, I didn't see anyone at all. I'll get your pearl necklace back if it's the last thing I do, my love. What a hero. Goodbye. Hey, Inspector! What now? I saw the thief, sort of. You saw him? Splendid! Little Mai tells me she's seen the thief. Or perhaps I should say that she hasn't seen him, since I am now aware that we are dealing with a master criminal who is, in fact, invisible. Invisible? An invisible thief? Quiet, please, all of you! Shut up! When I asked if you'd seen him, you all sort of had, and then you hadn't. Now you must speak up. Everybody knows that there's no sense in trying to withhold information from the police. Well, Moomin? Uh, well, little Mai took the words right out of my mouth, Inspector. All I can tell you is that the thief seemed to be completely invisible to me, too. Ah, and you, Snufkin? The same happened to me. My fishing rod seemed to fly away through the air by itself with no thief in sight. Ah, uh, yes. I presume I would be correct in thinking that you two agree this thief is invisible. Oh, yes, Inspector. Mm hmm Hmm. Invisible, invisible. Who can it be? Can't be seen. Hmm. I have it! The invisible thief must have been the witch! Not the witch! Obviously the witch! Ha! Huh. Eliminate all else, and then whatever's left over has to be the solution. I suppose that means you're going to arrest her? Yes, indeed. Put in new iron bars, too. The strongest ones I can find. I really don't think she's the thief, Inspector. 
You don't have my analytical mind. The witch is the only person who can make herself invisible. This is the police. You are my number one suspect, and you'd better come out peaceably or I'll come in and get you. Open up! In the name of the law! Yes. <laughs> Come right in, Inspector. Yeah, very well. Just as well my granddaughter isn't here right now. She would have been very upset by all this nonsense, I'll have you know. She'll be even more upset when I have you locked behind bars for grand larceny and grievous theft. I haven't stolen anything. You can turn invisible, though, can't you? Certainly. Then logically, you have to be the thief. I'm not! <laughs> if I'm a thief, you better find the loot. Feel free to search the whole house, Inspector. I certainly will. If you can't find any evidence here, however, I am going to cast a spell on you by way of punishment for your impertinence. Don't worry, it's quite obvious that the loot is here. <laughs> oh dear, I never thought he'd pick the witch as his prime suspect, did you? No, I didn't, Snuffkin. I wonder what's taking them so long in there. How's it going, Inspector? Have you found what you're looking for yet? My search of these premises is proceeding according to plan. I'll find your hidden loot soon enough. Don't you worry. Good. I don't think you've looked down here yet, have you? No, uh, no, I haven't. Aha, this must be a secret hideaway. Upstairs is Alicia's bedroom. Very suspicious character, that girl. I'll search it all. I reckon this chimney's rather suspicious. Yes, you're right there. I really think it should be your duty to dig around the house, too. Dig around the house? Mm -hmm. You're dealing with a wily witch, you remember. Take care. My view exactly. Plenty of searching to do. Come in. You as well? What do you want? Well, uh, we, we've got something to say to the inspector. Uh, okay, out with it. We found all the stolen items, every single one. Huh? Are you quite sure? They've been stashed away in the cave down by our beach. The cave? And that's not the only thing. We discovered the invisible thief hiding in the cave, too. And I was just about to search there. Oh, well done, Inspector. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you all for being of assistance to the police. I shall mention you in my report to the Chief Constable. Come on, everyone, the cave! Not so fast, young man! Yes? What is it you want now? Would I be right in understanding that I've been found innocent of the crime? Well, yes, that's right. At least it seems so on this occasion. What else? Well, I will be sending you Form 3B, thanking you for kindly assisting the police with their investigations. <clears throat> now I really must be getting on with my work. <laughs> <laughs> my helmet's gone all heavy. <laughs> You've done to my best helmet, you witch! <laughs> if your helmet's a heavy rain, take it right off! Well, I certainly will not! I've worn this helmet for 20 years and I intend to go on wearing it! <laughs> Tell me the way, please! Just keep on going, Inspector! <sighs> Is the thief still in there, Sniff? Oh, yes. He's right there, see? Okay, I'm going in to arrest him. Stand well back, everybody. A cornered criminal might try anything. No, sir. We'd rather stand by you. Yes, we would. Count me in. Me too. And me. Oh, I'm touched. Let's go. Look, over there! 
is here, isn't he? Nowhere else. I swear he never left the cave. Over there. Uh, where is he? He's over there, Inspector. We better go and catch him for you right now. Why can't I see him and you can? Quick, let's go. Stop! 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 Very well then, I'm arresting you for theft, and I must warn you, resistance is useless. A very quiet crook, isn't he? Yes, very. In you go, you thief, you! Yes, Chief Constable, the perpetrator is now under lock and key after a massive manhunt. Yes, sir, he might have accomplices, so I agree closing down the police station might be unwise. And so, thanks to that master criminal, Snufkin, the inspector's job was saved. Once again, spring was back in the air and not a crook in sight.